What is up guys, TSL here, back with a brand new SPTS video. In today's video, we will be making those chat tags so that in front of our name, when we, whenever we type a message, it will tell everybody what status we are. So like innocent, savior, outlaw, supervillain, all that stuff. Um, but before we actually do that, we actually want to fix something with our punch tool because somebody um, somebody saw that we didn't actually gain any reputation and we, our status didn't change when we killed uh, the other person with the punch tool in that video that we made the punch tool do damage. And it's very simple reasons because if you remember in our create power script in our energy punch, let me just zoom in, um, right over here where is it um hold up right around here this is um hold up this stuff isn't supposed to be here it's just got a little messed up um hold on Alright, so if you remember in this create power script, in this R thing, uh, we have we have this tag thing. It's an object value player creator. So basically, in the reputation script, we use that to know that who should get the reputation. We didn't add that to our punch tool, so that's why it doesn't work. So let's do that real quickly so we can actually just copy this tag stuff and um, go into our strength thing strength script and we just have to quickly find out where we should put this um so um we didn't we, we shouldn't go into main strength event sorry about that we should go into our starter pack punch and the handle in that script so yeah all right so Basically, what we're going to do this time, or actually this is perfect, this is, that's all we actually have to do is just paste it in right there, um, and that's, that's actually it. Alright, so that's it for that, and now the reputation will work again for the punch tool, it already worked for the energy punch and that stuff, now we can get started with those chat tags. So in service script service, let's just click that script button, that new script, and we'll re rename it to chat tags. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is get our player service. So local players is equal to game colon get service players. Um, this is just best practice and it's more organized, I guess. Also, you could rename your services for some odd reason, um, but this will always get them no matter what. Uh, the next variable we'll need is local server script service. Server script service is equal to game colon get service server script service. Server script service. I'm not sure if we're actually going to use this. Um, it's just something I had in my original script. I didn't even realize I had it, but yeah. Um, so then we'll do local chat service. This is what we really need for sure. And we're going to require, not rect, require. And we're going to react. Oh, why do I keep saying react? We're going to require the server script service so we actually do need it. And um, wait for child. And the chat service runner. So chat service runner. And I mean, it's pretty self explanatory, the name. I'm not going to get in too much detail about it because I am not the best chat person, so you shouldn't really be listen listening to me on that, so I'm not even going to bother saying it. Um, and then we just need to wait for its child just in case it didn't load in yet, and that's going to be chat service. Chat service. Alright, so now that we have our chat service, we are good to go with making our other stuff. But first we want a function, a local function. 
update tag and basically all this is going to take in is the tag text and the speaker name now in this function we're going to have a local variable called color and it's going to start off being equal to nail and now we just want to do some checks and ch this is basically so that we change the color of the tag if you're like a savior or a superhero or an outlaw or an innocent they're all different colors so this is where that happens so you can use whatever colors you want i found some good colors that i used when i originally made this script so the first one innocent it's white in the game so we'll do if tag text dot value is equal to um is equal to innocent then what we want to do is just set the color variable the color variable equal to color three dot new or not dot new from RG, rgb sorry and so white everybody knows most people know most programmers at least know that white is 255 comma 255 comma 255 most people know that but if you didn't then you learned something new already um so then we want to check if else if the tag text dot value is equal to let's say savior first i guess um and if it is if if we're a savior for a savior then we'll set the color equal to color three dot new and i found that this blue um we'll do zero comma one nine one comma two five five and uh yep red green blue so 191 on green and full blue all right so then um just so i don't get this confused before we'll do another else if and we'll just check if it's in outlaw if we're an outlaw outlaw then what we want to do is set the color equal to color three dot new, and um, we want it to. Why do I keep doing dot new? Dot from RGB, and this one will be one hundred eighty nine comma eighty three comma eighty three. All right. Um, we'll do else if tag text dot value is equal to super villain if I can type <laughs> super villain I don't know why it always does that but um if it's a super villain then we'll do color is equal to color three dot from RGB and this one is just 194 comma zero comma zero just some dark red type super villain theme thing all right, so now we can move on to after the savior. We'll do else if tag dot tag text dot value is equal to a super villain, not super villain, superhero. If we're a superhero, then what we want to do is set our color variable equal to color three dot from RGB, and we want to do zero comma one hundred comma two five five, and this should be dot from RGB. Um, sorry. So the difference between from dot new and from RGB, from RGB obviously uses the RGB color, so red, green, blue, and color three dot new I think goes to one. So if I don't remember wrong, then I think to get the color three dot new values for this, you would do like the RGB values and then divide it by two hundred fifty five. Um, don't like I think that's what it was. Well, anyways, we're not talking about that right now. So then at the end of this, what we want to do is set the local speaker variable equal to chat service colon get speaker in our speaker name, which we get, which gets passed in here when we call the function. All right. So then what we want to do is speaker colon set extra data. That's how you set extra stuff in the thing in the chat and this name color this is the color of the player that's chatted's name and we want this to also be the same color as the color and then here's where we're going to make the tag so we'll do speaker colon set extra data and this one we set tags and this um 
and we'll do comma and then it takes a dictionary which tag text or capital though with in Pascal case is equal to tag text dot value and then we want tag color to be equal to color so if you didn't know um, when you start something with a capital and then the next like word is um, is also started with a capital this right here is Pascal case and then here is camel case so it starts with a lowercase and then the next word is in uppercase so yeah that's just something new if you didn't know that alright so now that's it for our update tag function so now what we can do is we can do our chat service dot speaker added colon connect function and we just need our um, player name and that's pretty much it so then what we do local tag text is equal to game or not game is equal to our players and then we can just do this player name and we can wait for the child um, leader stats because the the status is in our leader stats and then wait for child and our status so if you didn't know what the difference between wait for child and find first child find first child will just run right away, right away and if it didn't find it it will just return nil so that's like what you'd use to try to check if something's in something like if if some service or some script or some part has a child named whatever um and wait for child will wait until it finds that um so this if that thing will never exist then it will create an infinite yield and then you'd get that infinite yield error thing below all right so anyways let's move on and we'll just call our update tag function real quickly right here and we'll add in our tag text variable in our speaker name speaker name or not speaker name sorry player name um and then what we're going to want to do is do tag text dot change so when the value of tag text changes we want to connect that to a function or we don't even have to actually yeah we don't even have to connect to a function we can just connect it to our update tag function um, with our tag text and our player name all right so that should work now so if we just hit this play button up here remember you start off as an innocent you're just an innocent civilian roaming the earth and you type hey guys I'm new here then it says innocent and then if we just click up here to go to the current server so that just and just change the value on our server side so go into our players and then your username then leader stats status and then just change the value I'll go to like a um, super hero and then click back to our client and they say just kidding and it didn't work because it said um, Pass value is not a function. So, um, my bad. We actually do have to connect it to a function. Function. So, like that. Alright, so you join your game, just an innocent little civilian. You're new to the game. You say, you let everybody know. I'm new here and it says innocent and then if you go to the server and go change your leader stat status value to something like let's go super villain and then go back to our client and say like JK it says super villain then your name and you notice it says super villain and it's a different color go back to the server let's change it to super hero um, say, let's say, just kidding, I'm a good guy, and it says superhero, has the different color, 
All right, perfect. And the last one to test is Savior. And uh, go to the client. We'll do. I just lost a rep. And it's a different color. That actually looks like almost exactly like the Savior color. If it's not exactly like it, pretty much. Let's just go to the server one more time because I forgot we have to be an outlaw real quickly. And um, we'll do. I am in outlaw. And as you see, all right, so the savior in the outlaw colors look like spot on, honestly. Well, there you go. That's how you make those chat tags like in SPTS or SPFS. Um, so if you guys enjoyed the video and this helped you out, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. We're almost at 800 subscribers. We're trying to hit 815 subscribers by the end of July. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by September. So we have a lot of goals set, guys. So please hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, and comment your ideas for the next videos in the comment section. Um, so other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. See you in the next one. Bye.